Alright guys, what is going on? Ali here back again with another video for Rising of the Shield Hero Episode 7, The Savior of the Heavenly Fowl. I believe that is the title of the episode. I'm excited about this episode. <clears throat> Hold on a second. I don't know what's going on, but my throat's been like... My throat's been like really off lately. Really scruffy and stuff. I, it's annoying sometimes, but... Especially when I'm recording the video. But anyways, let's get into this episode here we go starting off with the song okay okay let's get into the episode okay here we go oh, he has a lot of potions oh that guy received an order for herbicide so the so the uh, shield hero is gonna help him out oh they only chose him because he has because he has philo i feel like this episode is gonna be a little late back but definitely need herbicide oh there's a bunch of vines and everything that's why they need the herbicide for. It helps dissipate, like, the vines and stuff, I guess. Oh, they tried doing everything, bring out adventures, burning the vines and stuff, but they keep coming back. And the vines turn into monsters? What the hell? And some stupid-ass adventures. Adventurers? Man. <laughs> Philo. Oh, he br Oh, wow. Philo brought them all back. <laughs> Philo's being so rude. Also, oh, everybody say, everybody knows it's like the Heavenly Fowl, the one that, like, talks and everything, the Savior and stuff. It took, it took Philo, like, literally nothing to go in there and get them from like the the plants and stuff that's <laughs> i love philo so much because of like her attitude is sort of like innocent her saying these rude things i don't think she realizes she's saying them to be mean or anything and then you and then you got ref taylor being like hey you can't say that stuff to people it's, it's very mean she, like philo is actually even though she's like uh like the filial queen like that's what she is She's still a little kid, and she doesn't really know better. And Rev Taylor's like, hey, you can't say that. Feels like, you know, I'm <laughs> like, why not? It's so, it's, it's so cute. And then they're all realizing who he actually is, the savior of the heavenly fowl. It's so... <laughs> all right, let's continue. Oh, some of them are actually sick in there? Oh, the, oh, the plants got into their bodies. So they're parasitic. They're monsters. They're vines taking over, like destroying things. And the plant is taking over their bodies. <laughs> got Fila just munching? Then Fila sleeping? What the hell? So their village was being ravaged by famine when the spear hero visited. Of course. Of course there's something up with that guy and that whore he has on his arm oh and oh when he heard of what was going on with them he went back to get a seed from a nearby ruins that had been sealed and that's probably what caused the destructive vines like they don't think yeah see he called it a miracle seed but they don't think they don't think what could happen see they were happy at first but then it overgrew and almost took out the entire village also that evil alchemist like held it Held held it in that uh that chest for because of what happened. Like in the past, he sealed it away so it doesn't happen. But then that person took it out. Shield hero. I mean, uh, spear hero. Stupid ass. <laughs> Let's go, Philo. Man, she cute. He doesn't like to clean up after that dumbass spear hero. Okay, okay, going in, going in, Raftalia, going in, Philo, going in, not for me. Let's do this. Okay, so that tree is the big thing. That they gotta take out. Philo's like, I'm going. Airstrike shield. Let's go, Philo. Oh! Uh-oh. This is dangerous. She took the eye out, but then it regenerated. Hmm. Yep, it regenerates too quickly. Let's go, Philo. Teamwork. Philo and Reptile, let's go. Oh, Reptile got caught. Oh, whoa. Whoopsies. <laughs> Philo. <laughs> Philo laughed. Oh, that's funny. Uh because Ref Taylor got caught and the skirt was going up a little bit. And then she's like, ah! And Philo's like, heh, that's funny. Oh, yeah, the herbicide, it doesn't like it. It doesn't like it. Okay. Okay, it's breaking apart from him. Okay. It's working. It's destroying it. Enhanced, he enhanced his uh, herbal skills or something like that. The tree's done. It's all done for. Way to go. Way to go, shield. Way to go now, Fumi. Ref Taylor, Philo. Very nice. Gather them. Gather what, like... Uh, fruit? That was mine. I got it first. Oh, they they got some attitude towards each other now. Bio plant shield. That's cool. Plant modification. Interesting new shield he has now. 
Huh. Oh, he has a new skill, plant modification. That's cool. He's getting a whole bunch of different, like, shields and stuff. That's cool. <laughs> Reptalia. He's so quiet and cool, isn't he? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, he's getting a handle on, like, uh, using his shield to, like, manipulate the plant and stuff like that. It's cool. I curb the breeding mutation and increase their growth and productivity. Oh, that's cool. They should bear lots of fruit without turning into monsters. Hell yeah. Don't they have to worry about famine again? Nice job, Sir Hero! Oh, they're gonna sell it to? Oh, of course. This guy. Oh, he's gonna buy it all. Nice. He definitely got a trader's spirit with all that stuff, man. Going on another job. Oh, they're going to a hot springs place not too far away. Oh, and he's dibbling goods to the inn and stuff. Oh, they're gonna take a break? Go to the hot springs? Hot spring. Oh. Oh, so look, she's wagging her tail. She's like, I'm not that interested. She's being a little cinderia right now. If they want to go, she'll go. Oh, I love Reftali even more. I love you. Philo's getting in Reftali's way. Philo's being too clinging. Oh, Reftali, I want to be clingy with him too. She's so cute with her hair up. I like that. <gasps> Success in love. Oh, that's what the hot spring is. A couple that answers the hot spring together will be united forever. If I can take a bet together, no for me. Oh, this is cute. We can't kiss. I'll get pregnant. What? This is funny. And then, and then there's Philo. Reptali's like, oh my gosh. Oh, she's jealous now. She's with Nafumi Sama now. Naf oh, she's so jealous right now. She was with him the whole time. <gasps> she wants to share the drink with him. Oh, she wishes that he did stuff for her too, like brush her hair and. Oh, I, I, I love Reptali so much. She's like, come on. She wants to be with Nafumi too. Is that like milk or something? <laughs> Reptali drank a both of them. Philo's like, I want one. It's like, no, no, that's not happening. I'm drinking them both. I'm angry right now. <laughs> She's like, Philo's, Philo might steal my Nafumi if I don't do something. Uh oh, she gonna go in his bed? Oh, she's gonna go and try to get him a gift. Aww. She's gonna, she's gonna make a love charm out of the latium crystal and give it to him. Aww. She's blushing at him. She's, she's so cute. Oh, this is so cute. Like, she's just imagining so many things, like, oh my gosh, Nafumi, please, we can't kiss, I'll get pregnant and shit. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Oh, she's going for the eggs. Well, now, well, Reptali is going for, uh, the actual crystals. Oh, jeez, what? What? I'm sure, <laughs> but they're going for the same thing. That's, like, hilarious. She'll be my maid if I give him a delicacy? Oh, this is funny. They're all, they're both going after the same place, but different things, but also for the same reason. She's going after the eggs because they're delicious. She's going after the crystal to make like a love charm for him. That's so funny. That's so cute. Watch out, Philo. Well, she can fly, actually. Oh, well, I guess not. I mean, she fell. Oh, what are they sitting on? Uh-oh. It must be a monster. Oh, hell no. Oh, jeez. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Oh, that's a that's a nasty looking boar. <laughs> Whoa, that's a pretty look. That's a pretty sight right there. Teamwork makes the dream work, you know. Oh, there they are, the nest. She's gonna get the egg. She's gonna get like the crystal. She just needs the crystal. Uh oh. Oh, and there's the boar. What? How'd the boar get there? Oh no! The boar messed the messed up their nest. I hope that boar gets what's coming to him. Reftali's pissed now, and so is Philo. <laughs> They're pissed. They're gonna destroy. It. They're gonna destroy that boar. The boar's sweating. <laughs> oh, the boar got what's coming. Had what's coming to him. Hundred percent. A silver razorback uh, boar. Oh, oh. So maybe if you offer the silver razorback, then the love, then like. Your love life will be, you know, tenfold. Don't know what I'm doing. I'll pay good money for it. For me? Aw, they gave him a nice little hammer. Help you craft metals and stuff. Oh, she's wagging her tail, Reptile. Oh, so they did a teamwork of giving him a gift. So he can make jewelry or metals and stuff. Oh, she's patting both their heads. But I'll make him recognize my womanly charms one day. Hell yeah, Reptalian, don't give up! I'll eventually get him to recognize my womanly charms one day. So adorable! So adorable! Mm. Some crap is hit. Whoa, what the hell? 
Okay, that was like a, uh, oh, next episode, episode 8 is called Cursed Shield. It looks like there was like a, a what was that, a dead, a dead dragon or something like that? Like, it's probably bringing disease and everything. But, uh, yeah, let's get into this review right here. Let's go. Okay, guys, episode 7, I believe it was episode 7, the, uh, the Rise of the Shield hero, um, I, it, it was funny. Like, honestly, it was really fun. Um, I, like what I said before, uh, I'm pretty sure I said this before, that it, it was going to be somewhat uh, like a laid-back episode. I'm not, if, if I didn't, then, you know, whatever. I, I had a feeling in my head that it was going to be somewhat of a laid-back episode, but also, like, there was good action in it and everything between, like, the village that they all went to, that uh, Reftalia, Philo, Nafumi went to, to uh, help uh, pretty much save, because uh, it turns out the, the the evil alchemist temple that they went to, the those ruins and stuff, there, there was a seed that was in that chest that was empty, and it turns out that that seed was taken by the spear hero and his side chick and his hoe over there. Because they heard of this seed being something that, like, I, I guess helps with, uh, like, it, it's a sacred, not a sacred seed, but it's some sort of seed that uh, helps with plant growth and stuff like that. They, did, they didn't even think for a second that something terrible would happen with that seed, and it turns out that it became pretty much a giant field, like the village that uh, the spear hero and and mine put the seed in that village pretty much turned into a pile of vines and and like nasty monster plants and things like that like it's like he doesn't think and she somewhat thinks for him but like in the way that like she doesn't care about the consequences that's going to happen with all these villages and shit i'm like get your head in the thought process of being there for the people that you're ruling over I'm like, come on. That shit was ridiculous. So now Fumi pretty much has to freaking clean up the spear hero and, and mine's mess. Pro uh, I'm pretty sure, like, once again, he had to go and help them out and stuff. And throughout the whole episode, that was pretty much, like, the, the, the main um, important part. Or not important, but, like, one of the uh, big uh, main things about the episode. that Like, Philo, um, like, the villagers and stuff, they hired adventurers and stuff before now Fumi uh, came there and everything. Because he was delivering some stuff with, uh, with, with like, the, you know, the, the jewelry trader guy from uh, last episode, I believe. Um, he went to that village find out the situation that was going on. There were advent adventurers that went into the village and haven't come out because of, like, the plants pretty much became monsters. So then Nafumi's like, Philo, go get them. Go, go, go check the, go check it out. And she just went, Pew! just went in there and t and got, the and, like, two seconds later, she's out with all of the adventurers. Like, he she saved all their asses and stuff. Because th they went in there because they wanted to level up from the monsters and everything. And that didn't happen. They were caught and everything. It was just pretty funny. Um, and Philo got them out like like it was nothing, which was hilarious too. So now Fumi and Reftalia and Philo decide to like, hey, let's go in there. Let's take this out for the villagers and stuff. Obviously not without compensation and stuff from the village. Because, you know, now Fumi does, he still needs to make a living and everything. So they head in there. And something that was so funny... Like, throughout the whole episode, Philo and Reftalia have kind of been butting heads, like, the entire time. It, it, was, it was so funny, like, the jealousy that they have, like, for each other. More so Reftalia, because now Fumi is always helping out Philo with, like, things like braiding her hair, or, like, even, the, like, even after this, the whole village thing. I'm gonna talk about the, the village first, and then I'll talk about what happened after, but... Um, so they go in and find like the source of like the plant or whatever. So then Nafumi, not Nafumi, but Reftalia and Philo, like, like Philo's kicking ass. She's going in, beating some ass. So is Reftalia and stuff. But once they come together, like in the beginning, once they come together, they can't do anything necessarily right. 
Like, like they keep getting like hit by the vines and everything. Feels like, what are you doing? Well, like, don't get in my way. And then Reptalia's getting annoyed by it. And then she gets wrapped up by a vine, which was hilarious because like when she got wrapped up, like her dress was kind of going up a little bit. So then she's like, oh, no, no, Nafumi's going to see me wear. And Philo looks at her and is like, <laughs> she like grins and, and laughs at her, which was hilarious. And then Reptalia's like, what, are you laughing at me? And then she's like, don't, don't, don't mind that. Like, no, I'm not laughing at you. Never mind. Just go, like, do your thing or whatever. Hilarious. It, it was so funny, that whole thing. And then something that was really cool is, like, Nafumi's shield, like, is, is getting a lot more, like, upgrades and skills and stuff. And he was easily able to, like, break the vines and everything because of, like, the shield's abilities and stuff. He has so many abilities with that shield now. It's ridiculous. So he uses these potions that he used on some of the villagers because uh, the plants kind of so somewhat infiltrated like a parasite uh, into some of the people. And uh, th and the plants are like growing out of the people, but Nafumi saves them and everything. So he uses kind of like that tactic that he used to heal them uh, from the plant to use it on the plant as an offensive ability, which is pretty cool because it, it, it was more of like a healing ability at first. And then he's like, you know what, maybe I can use this to attack the plant and stuff. And then he did and he took it out and everything. And he absorbed some of that, uh, that seeds, uh, um, uh, seeds abilities, like the plant's abilities, put it in his shield and he can like regrow them and destroy them and disintegrate the plants now. So he's able to do that stuff with like the plants. So he has the ability of that plant now, which is insane. Or that, that, uh, that, uh, seed or whatever, that sacred seed that, uh, the, she the spear hero got out of the freaking chest when he never should have because he's stupid. He can't think for himself. It's retarded. It's, it, I, I almost said, I almost said retarded, but I didn't mean to say that, but he's just like really stupid, honestly. So that whole shit, the whole, whole debacle was awesome and everything. Find out, finding out about that stuff. And uh, so the village was pretty much saved by Nafumi. And something that was really cool with Nafumi is that he kind of altered what the seed, um, what, what that magical seed pretty much did. Altered it so that it can actually like altered its growth and productivity to where it's, it, it will be fruitful. And, and that village won't be in famine ever again. Which was really cool and stuff, but you know he still needs some of that that you know that money that money you know. So they compensated f with uh, the shield hero and everything, and so the shield hero goes back to that trading guy from last episode. Now Fumi, he asks Now Fumi if he can like deliver some stuff to a hot spring, um, a hot spring town, and everything about that town that shit was funny. Like I I loved it because Raftalia the entire time she was just straight up jealous and Sundari and infuriated by by Philo. Like it was it was hilarious cuz like it's a hot springs town. So he's like, "Hey, do you guys want to go in this hot spring too?" Or Philo asks Nafumi and then Nafumi's like, "What do you think, Raftalia?" and she's like, "Well, you know, I mean, if you guys are going, I guess I'll go too." Like it it, it, was, it was so freaking cute. Raftalia was so adorable in this episode. And then you got Philo and uh, Nafumi, like, Nafumi is, like, brushing her hair and stuff. Um, she's, she's taking a hot springs bath with her because he sees her as, like, this little kid and stuff. So he's, there, there's nothing there. And, and Reftal is by her lonesome on this one side. And it shows uh, uh, she, she's in this hot spring and she sees, like, this silver boar and human, like, statue with, with, like, a lady and a guy right next to each other and stuff. She reads it and it turns out that, like, if you, like, if you bathe together with somebody that you love, you'll, you guys will be in love forever or something like that. It's so cute. Where if Tally's like, oh my gosh, if, if that happens, like, and, and then she starts being, like, not delusional, but, like, thinking about the future like way ahead being like oh Nafumi we can't kiss I'll get pregnant like what <laughs> like she, her thought process is so innocent and adorable and cute that like she she's my favorite girl she's 100% my favorite girl so then this whole thing happens this whole debacle Reftalia has like these uh I think it's milk or something like that she wants to give it to Nafumi she wants to at least share a drink with him and stuff man she's sh she's pushing herself forward so much with love that she wants him or uh, to to love her and stuff it's 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 very 
it's very uh her tenacity is is very much to be praised like it's it's really great and then when she goes into the room now fumi's there with philo brushing her hair and stuff and then philo turns around and is like i want that milk but then not, not ref tally's like no i'll <laughs> then she drinks all the milk hilarious and then she also finds out that uh this this crystal called ladium is um you can make like love charms with it and stuff and if you give it to the person that you love you'll be together forever and everything so she sets out on that uh adventure kind of that, that quick little journey and then all of a sudden philo's right behind her and it's not and, and it's like she doesn't uh, know about what reftalia is doing they're going to the same location to get different things but at the same time it's for the same purpose because the eggs at this at this nest where the crystals are are a rare delicacy of this type of bird and that she said if if Nafumi um loves these these uh these eggs and thinks they're so delicious and everything she'll be my he'll be my mate this is what Philo said he'll be my mate and Reftali is like what 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 the fuck hilarious in the Reftali so they're both going to get it and stuff and they're arguing and everything uh, like and then Philo falls down, and Reftalia catches her. They land on a boar, like a giant silverback boar, and they got away from it. They get to the nest, but then the boar follows them, and then they do some awesome-ass teamwork and stuff at the end. She's like, you know what? Like, let's do some... Like, they just start doing some awesome-ass teamwork, and then, uh, like, Reftalia and them avoid the boar, but then the boar gets to the nest and destroys the nest. And Reptalia and Philo are pissed. Like, the, the way they're like, you know what? We wanted to get some stuff for Nafumi for, to show him how much we love him. But it's not happening now because of you, you stupid boar. So then they go in, kill the boar, destroy its ass. Boom. Done. But I also feel bad for the bird that had that nest. Like, that boar destroyed that, that, that bird's home. It sucks. But, like, the whole debacle was, like, hilarious. And then... They find out that that silverback boar was from that thing that that uh, that Reftalia read. So then these people in the village um, ask for like m like ask the Reftalia if they can have the boar. They'll pay some really good money for it. So then Philo and Reftalia are like, all right, let's do that. And, and then they buy this awesome like tool for Nafumi together. They buy it together to be like, you know what? Let's just get this together for him. Um, for everything that he's done and stuff for like so he can like work with like making trinkets out of metal and things like that So he can sell them and everything like that and he's like, you know what? I really didn't need this. Thank you so much And that, that was like really cool to see that part. Um, I, th I believe that was the end of the episode uh, I, I really liked this episode. It was very funny um, I, I hope that, uh, you know, cross, cross my fingers that, you know, Reftalia, he sees her, uh, or Nafumi sees her as somewhat of a woman eventually. She can, uh, she can finally use her womanly charms on him one day or something. So, uh, she's learning patience with it and everything, which, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, that was the end of the episode. Everything with Philo. Feel and Rev Tyler was so funny. And actually, the episode ends with uh, Nafumi leaving the inn and somebody talking about something happening in the East, something uh, bad happening in the East or something. So Rev Tally and Feel or Rev Tally is like, So where are we going next? And then uh, Nafumi saying the East. So next episode, they're headed to the East to deal with something which is uh, probably going to be really cool and stuff. Um, like consistently, the anime is so great with the with the animation and art style it's, it's always like really really on point and really good so um yeah that is the end of the episode what did you guys think of the episode what did you think about what i was saying and stuff leave down in the comments below your thoughts like this video if it did like the video if you like this episode episode seven the savior of the heavenly foul like this video and everything and subscribe to the channel for more reviews vlogs unboxings live reactions and through discussion videos and things like that so gentlemen stay classy ladies stay sassy but most importantly everybody you gotta stay a little nasty all right so peace and love and I will say, uh, and I will see you up. Uh, and I will see you all later with the next video. May the force be with you always. And plus ultra.